Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Daisy. I am so excited to share with you guys this paranormal experience. It's intense, so don't watch it at night and don't watch it by yourself. You guys have been warned, but that being said, grab your snacks, grab your cobija, and let's get straight into it. Before I start, I do want to say happy birthday to one of my subscribers, Brenda, if you're watching. Love you, besos. Thank you for your support. I hope you have an amazing birthday. Everyone say happy birthday to my girl, Brenda, okay? Besos, girl. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about the case, El Caso de Abu Hernandez. This case is super popular right now in Mexico. That's why I had to share with you guys because it is good footage. And I want to see what you guys think about it, if it's fake, if it's not. At the end of this video, let me know what's your final verdict. Because I already have my ideas and I want to know yours. Okay, so Abu Hernandez right now is experiencing a lot of paranormal activity. This all happened right after he went to a spiritual retreat in Isla Mujeres. And first of all, Isla Mujeres is beautiful. I kind of want to go, but after hearing all of this, maybe I don't want to go anymore. But like I was saying, he went to this spiritual retreat. What was weird about it is that when he was in this retreat, he felt very uneasy. He felt anxious. He wasn't at peace. So he said, okay, I'm just going to get out of this retreat and just enjoy my time time in this isla and well what happened was he went back home and he started to notice that weird things were happening in the house al llegar a casa eh, pues me doy cuenta que al par de días me doy cuenta que algunos objetos de la casa comienzan a cambiar de lugar no sé, dejaba yo un vaso una taza dejaba yo algún objeto x y al pasar un rato sin percatarme aparece en otro lugar en la, al, al día siguiente al, cosas que se escuchaban en la madrugada que se caían pues realmente no estaban tiradas esto me asustó mucho porque lejos de pensar en algo paranormal comencé a entrar un poquito en, en paranoia en el aspecto de que alguien quería de alguna forma molestarme, asustarme no lo sé, la mente te traiciona mucho la mente te hace estas malas jugadas y, y yo empecé a entrar un poco en, en paranoia respecto a ese asunto. Things were being misplaced, he was hearing voices, he was hearing footsteps. He honestly thought someone was messing around with him. Están tocando la recámara de Carla, pero... Pero no hay nadie en su recámara. Ay, güey, cerraron su recámara. Pues si está abierta Y pues de este lado igual El baño está abierto Ay güey, están tocando la puerta A ver Ay cabrón Time after time, he started to notice these particular footsteps. Footsteps of a woman in high heels. I mean, it can be a man too. I mean, I don't judge at all. So, man or woman in high heels. Also, he did mention that sometimes when he would hear the footsteps, he would get this aroma of a woman's perfume. Look. Pero el motivo de estar grabando es porque huele muchísimo perfume de mujer. Y se escuchan otra vez los, los tacones. De hecho, el aroma es muy fuerte. A mí me agrada, no, no tengo problema. Es un perfume agradable. Pero el problema es que los, los tacones que... Ahí está, te escuchan ya los tacones. Bien, 
Okay, did you guys see that? That the teddy bear was standing up straight. Not parado, not standing up. But it was like the pose was up straight. And then it just slouched in one frame. In one second, it just slouched. Yeah, it can be not paranormal, but I think, assessing the situation, there is clearly paranormal activity going around in that house. It can be coincidence, but in this case, I don't think it's a coincidence. I think it's too obvious, too many times of paranormal things going around that house that it just happened and it just happened. No, I think that was paranormal. That's what I'm trying to say. So once Abu was seeing so much paranormal activity in his house, he began setting up cameras around the house to see what he captured, and this is what he captured. So Abu has said himself that he doesn't think the house is haunted. He honestly thinks that he brought something after that retreat because he can go to a hotel and it follows him. There's still manifestations in the hotels. Anywhere he goes to, it's as if it follows him. So in all reality, he doesn't have an escape. He says that he feels exhausted, stressed out, and terrified over this because anywhere he goes, there's no escape. He just has to deal with it. And that's why maybe in those videos, he seems so macho because he is. I mean, he's just numb to it, I think, at this point. One of his friends recommended a house cleansing. And let's just say the ghost, the demon did not like it. Check it out. Ya estoy terminando de así. Aquí lo que me llama la atención es que el humo permanece. Digo, bueno, en el teléfono, en el teléfono no se aprecia muy bien que digamos, pero como que el humo de verdad toma una cierta forma extraña, no, no sé cómo explicarlo. De hecho, las cadenas ya empezaron, empezaron a moverse otra vez. <coughs> Sí. 
Sí, se ve un poco curioso esto. Hola. Hola. ¿Ya te fuiste? ¿Ya te fuiste? Empiezan a moverse. Hola, hola. ¿Ya te fuiste? De hecho, empiezan a sonar las campanas aquí, como que algo... Algo truena, no, no, no lo distinguir qué es. Incluso las cadenas de ellas se están moviendo más. Eh, las cadenas. Y se está moviendo más fuerte. Y suena. Suena. Como que sí le está molestando el, el incienso. No sé qué. ¿Qué onda? Pues si no te parece, entonces vete. Vete, no tengo problema. Ve. Ay, ok. Esto no me lo esperaba. Definitivamente esto no me lo esperaba. Se siguen escuchando los sonidos. De hecho, se escuchan los sonidos. Los tacones, pero como... Ahí está. Ahí está. se siente que está aquí a mi lado no manches si sí, me asusta un poquito ahora sí porque neta se escucha aquí adentro se escucha como la chapa pero pues a ver voy a levantarme se escucha aquí afuera voy a abrir la puerta No sé si abrió o cerró la puerta de la cocina. A ver. Pues está abierta, pero no recuerdo honestamente si la había cerrado o abierto. Esta tarde. Veo aquí qué onda. Pues no, no, no hay nada, no se ve nada ahí. No mames. Ahí está. Se están yendo para allá. A ver. It's where his footage that he gets. They make me get goosebumps. I'm like over here closing my eyes because I hear those footsteps getting closer and closer. Or when he's in the room with the footsteps and you can hear the footsteps get out of his room. I die inside. Like I could not imagine myself hearing that. And if I do, best believe I'll faint. Something I noticed about Abu's video is that he was interacting with whoever was there. He would just talk to them, they would answer, and I've heard and I always have been told that you're not supposed to talk to them, you're not supposed to interact with them. Don't even try it because you're opening like a door for them. You're accepting that interaction if you you know say hello hey like if you start to interact with them it doesn't matter what sense they they feed off of that you're giving them that entry point of like okay i can suck up this person's energy i don't know for all you know that's not even true but that's what i've heard i've always been told that you're not supposed to you know when something happens act like it didn't happen keep it moving because they want your attention they want that you know so I don't know, but Daisy doesn't know anything to be honest though. Me hizo grabar porque se está empezando a mover otra vez esto. A ver si tengo la oportunidad de que se mueva. Realmente. Y 
creo que su foco como que está fallando ahorita, no sé qué. Lo voy a dejar quieto mejor. Ahí está. Hola. Eso es a lo que me refiero. ¿Qué quieres? ¿Qué quieres? Mm, y por aquí igual también hace rato se estaba moviendo una de las sillas, pero no sé si se alcancé a ver. Creo que no. Bueno. Ya me voy, ¿eh? Me voy a ir. ¿Qué necesitas? Ya me quedo, me quedo, me voy a quedar. Me voy a quedar. ¿Sale? Aquí me quedo, no hay problema. I don't know if you guys noticed that red book that fell from his bookshelf. That book's name is Tragedias, Tragedies. And Abuth says that every time that particular book falls, it opens and lands on a specific page. He has tried to decipher the pages like, okay, maybe there's a meaning that this ghost, demon, I don't know what this is, is trying to make me understand. But he doesn't know what it means. He, it just lands on that page all the time and he doesn't know what it means so clearly that book has a message for a booth in that book or in that page because out of all of the books that red book is the one that continues to fall on purpose it's so creepy seeing that book fall on its own like not on its own like someone just swoop throws it down it gets me chills and then the guitar how it moves like oh my god i can't all the footage that he has captured creeps me the hell out i wonder how i'm gonna sleep tonight probably with my mom to be honest <laughs> i wonder how i'm gonna sleep tonight probably with my mom to be honest <laughs> So for next week, October 31st for Halloween, get ready because I will be sharing with you the last update of Abu. And I hope you guys are ready for it because it's a little bit more intense than this video. So make sure you guys subscribe and turn on your notifications so you guys are ready to hear about Abu. Okay, you guys, that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel to see the update of Abu for next week for Halloween. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.